Stephanie Ricca with Hotel News Now, and I'm here today with Mark Gerstein, Chief Capital Markets Officer for IHG. Thanks for joining us, Mark. Well, thank you, Stephanie. And I've got to say, I'm intrigued by your title. I don't run into many people with that title. So start by telling me what your role is at IHG. Okay, well, IHG, as many people know, is an asset-like company. Mm -hmm. So we, we're we able to grow if our owners are able to grow. And our owners need access to capital to be able to grow. So my role is really to try and facilitate more access to capital for our owners. So I really do that in a couple of ways here. One is to uh, meet with lenders and equity sources and tell the IHG story so they're more inclined to work with our owners. And the second area is really advising and assisting our owners on deals. So that could come with advising them on capital structure, who they should approach in order to talk to, should, do they need a broker, recommend some brokers as well with them, because I'm not a broker in my role, it's really a more of an advisory position. So as you talk to your owners, what do you hear from them in terms of their biggest concerns when seeking financing? Uh, well, there's, I'd say two areas right now that are very much a focus. One is construction financing right now. The market has gotten tighter, especially for deals, over $20 million loan sizes, so the bigger hotels. And uh, so they're concerned, do they have access, to, especially if they don't have strong relationships with a, one or two banks, where else could they go to get that access to capital? So that's one area. And the uh, other area is just we have a rising interest rate environment right now. How is that going to impact their deal? Deals. Should they term out their debt? If so, how do you go do that? And where, what is going to be on a floating rate basis with LIBOR increasing because the Fed funds is increasing? What does that impact on financing? So what's the most typical type of financing deal that your owners are looking to find? You know, is it refinancing, new construction, like you just mentioned, yeah. combination of both, renovation? Yeah, it's a combination of both because IHG has over 5,200 hotels in the system here. So therefore, we need, there's a lot of access of capital coming due, and I have an America's job, so I don't deal with all of them, but on the America side, so we need that. And then second, in order to grow, the construction has always been, given all the new brands and the new, uh, the new opportunities out there, has always been a big opportunity to grow, so having that access to capital. So I'd say I probably spend a little bit more time on the new construction financing area, but they're both very important. So how tough is it to get new construction financing these days? for the typical IHG owner, which is pretty representative of a typical yeah. American So I, I think it, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it depends on the size of the construction loan. So we break it into two areas. So if you're uh, less than 20 million and you're borrowing from the local bank or a uh, community bank here, that, uh, that is available. It helps to have a good relationship. So like first time developers will struggle a little bit to get access. They really need to have a compelling deal. Uh, but that is uh, it, it, that capital they can find. Uh, but it might be a little bit more costly than it was a year or two ago, but it's, it's out there. And some of the banks are really saving some of their capital for their better sponsors, better franchisees, just because some of them are starting to hit some of their limits. Uh, when you get over 20 million, that's more of the challenging market right now, because then you get into more of the regional, the super regional, the, na the national banks here. And a lot of them are at their lending limits. Uh, we'll talk potentially about some of the regulations that impact them. So there, most of them are looking at, if we're going to lend on a deal, it's got to be a very competitive compelling deal, it's got to be with one of their exi really strong existing relationships, it's got to be with a good brand and in you know, a market that makes sense. So uh, so that, that I'd say is probably the toughest right now to get, gain access to. So it's been a funny couple years in the lodging cycle, you know, we've gone to the point where people say, oh, we may be at the end, oh, we may have a couple more years left, what's happening here, there's no major black swan event, this cycle could go on indefinitely for a couple years. How does that type of dynamic have an impact on financing? Do banks and lenders get skittish? What's been happening over the last few years? Uh, I think it depends on where your capital source is. These banks are uh, a lot of them are deposit taking institutions so they have to put out the capital here. Uh, but there will be a little bit more scrutiny in terms of the deals here right now on new construction. So I think you, the deal's got to make a, a lot of compelling sense for them. But these guys are in business to lend money because otherwise they won't be able to uh, uh, kind of function in terms of uh, increasing dividends and working on Wall Street. So from 
your position as a finance guy, for lack of a better term, what are some of the big picture positives in the overall American hotel industry right now, and what are some of its biggest challenges? Okay, I think uh, the positive, I would say, is people are view as there is some upside to the kind of forecast. you got a new government in right now that's supposedly going to be taking down regulation, spending on infrastructure, so a lot of the consensus estimates are 2.5-3% red power growth for this year, next year here, but there's definitely upside to that given if all these uh, actually changes in the regulations happen and we have stronger GDP growth, that'll go to the bottom line. So I think that's uh, a positive here as well here. And then uh, another area is even though people are talking about supply issues here, I think um, there's still a lot of markets out there that have very compelling opportunities. Uh, most of the supply is in a few markets here where there are very uh, attractive opportunities for the uh, ownership groups to build more hotels, reposition more hotels. Uh, and on the risk side, we see interest rates. If interest rates kind of keep on increasing here, well, what happens then? So a lot of conversations I'm having with our franchisee base is, can you term out your debt right now? CMBS debt is very attractive at four and three quarters to five percent right now for ten years. If you have a hotel that's been up a couple year, up and running a couple years, you can access that capital and you have less to worry about in terms of a rising interest rate environment. And uh, I think regulation in general is another concern right now in, in the marketplace here. You have uh, you've had Dodd Frank, you have Basel III. A lot of these banks are right now limited because of the increased regulation, where they don't have the same capacity that they might have had, given the, all these new rules you have to follow. There's a, a rule that's been imposed called high volatility commercial real estate (HVRC), which means if you've owned land for a long time, you can't take the current market of value. You have to take your actually cash contributed into the asset. That's created some issues for a few of our uh, franchisee base, where they need to have enough equity into the. Deal. So sometimes you have to look for third-party equity or other uh, access to capital to kind of deal with the new regulations. So it sounds like there are pressures, but it's still a pretty liquid transactions environment. Which yeah, is good I, look, to hear. I think hospitality is a great play to play here because we have daily leases here, and as if you get start to see some inflation or rents will move up, you get good yields on your assets, compelling for owners and. Uh, I, I think it's still a terrific investment opportunity. That's great to hear. Yeah. Thank you again. It's Stephanie Ricca from Hotel News Now here with Mark Gerstein from IHG. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Stephanie.